What's going on YouTube? This Key Guy Joe here. Today I'm back with another video. Today this is going to be a comparison video between the 2019-2020 model year uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross and the 2022 Eclipse Cross. These vehicles are different in styling. Uh, about the same in power, but it's more on the styling side as far as the outside. And the, ex and the interior rather there are differences so I'm going to be able to point those differences out to you guys today but before we, before we get into it make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel alright first taking a look at this 2019 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross you guys can see the styling is a little bit different it's a little bit you know toned down not too wide of a grille from the 2022 model you still get a full LED headlight with your LED daytime running light with an incandescent turn signal uh, on the 2019 model year on the 2022 is LED this is the 2022 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross and as you guys can see it is different on the front with the front grille being a lot wider than it is on the 2019 back there and as you guys can see still full LED headlight system but now you have LED turn signals for the front the grill pattern is different and the uh, Mitsubishi badge is bigger and you now have this chrome strip that starts from the top and goes all the way down and surrounds the headlight system. From the side of the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross 2020, uh, 2019 rather, you can see that the proportions are slightly the same. They still have this styling element front that starts right here and goes all the way back that flows into the rear tail light. design is still the same almost it looks the same they still have this uh, black cladding that starts from the front and goes all the way to the rear as well on the 2019 you guys can see here same deal of material we have this black cladding right here and the wheels don't they the wheels do look the same so I believe these are the same wheels uh, they carried over the same wheels from previous model year to the 2022 the black cladding goes all the way to the back from the rear of the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross is probably the biggest difference and changes on the outside as you guys can see full well not full LED but uh, LED brake lights incandescent turn signal and incandescent reverse light but they got rid of the double glass portions that uh, that would have been right here this would have been a glass portion right here so they got rid of that and in turn they just put like one long glass piece right there I like this better than the older or the first gen Eclipse Cross it looks a lot more mature as you guys can see from the rear of the 2019 Eclipse Cross it does have LED lights incandescent uh, turn signal but this whole bar doesn't light up the light stops about right there and continues from right there all the way down but as you guys can see comparing to last year's model it looks a lot different they no longer have this glass portion right here it's just this glass portion right there on the on the 2022 as you guys can see the reverse lights are also way down there compared to up there near the turn signal indicators on the 2022 rear of the 2019 also looks a lot longer. It looks wide compared to the you know, 2022. Also the badge is smaller on the 2019. They have Mitsubishi badging right there. And the Eclipse Cross isn't spelled out. It is it's just right there. And they also this is just an SEL trim as well. So I believe you can get a newer model in the SEL, but this trim right here is just an SE. Taking a look under the hood of the uh, 2019 Eclipse Cross SEL. Same engine, 1.5 liter turbo direct injection, the same amount of power, 152 horsepower, and about 147 pound-feet of torque. 
still made it to a CVT transmission. So this is basically basically a carryover engine of the 2019 to the 2022. So really nothing different. As I said, a lot of the difference comes from the inside and the outside. Taking a look here at the door panel of the 2019 Eclipse Cross, you guys can see basically uh, almost the same deal of materials on the door. Soft touch injection motor plastic right here, hard touch plastics, silver painted door handle right there, some more of that silver painted trim. This portion right here is all soft touch with some orange stitching on the SEL trim. Hard touch plastics, one touch down for the front window. All other windows are, uh, you know, you have to hold, hold the button down and up the window. Some more storage down there, water bottle holder. Closing the door. Not as solid sounding as the 2022. So that's a good step in, uh, in the right direction for the 2022 model. It sounds a lot more solid. But the rest of the interior, almost comparable, almost the same to the 2022 model that you guys see right there. Some differences in the that I already see in the 2019 SEL is this heads-up display. I'm sure an SEL trim for the newer model has a heads-up heads-up display, but that is an SE trim, so I'm not sure if an SEL in the 2022 model has a heads-up display. Looking at the right side of the steering wheel on this 2019, you have your traction control, a light uh, button to dim the interior lighting right there. Your heads up display button right there. That's pretty nice. So, option to open and close the heads up display. Uh, left side, you have your phone and volume controls right there. On the right side, you have your cruise control and uh, your cruise control buttons and whatnot. Some empty space that they would have put something. I'm not sure what they would have put right there. You have some rather large plastic paddle shifters on the uh, behind the steering wheel. They're not on the steering wheel connected, but they're rather on the column. The horn sounds pretty wimpy, just like the 2022. So that's likely a carryover future. The rest of the interior, soft touch injection molded on the top. Soft touch injection molded on the top as well. Here, some more of that silver trim that's very you know, 22, 2022 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross like. Taking a look here at the center armrest, very nice, soft and padded area right there. No USB ports in there as well. Taking a look here at the seats, some leatherette material, doesn't pretty, doesn't feel that nice. It feels like a very different plastic. I'm not sure what kind of material this is, but it does not feel that good. The glove block box here. So they still have that two uh, that two storage option as well. That two level storage with a nice size for the bottom. You have two cup holders right here with, uh, with an electronic parking brake and your auto holder is also right there. They have this trackpad in here, which is not that intuitive if you ask me. I would assume this is why they took that out for the newer model. This trackpad is no longer in the uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross in the 2022 model. It does work. It might take a little bit of getting used to if you guys were to purchase this 2019 or if you guys already have a 2019 I'm pretty sure the learning curve took a, little, a while to use this trackpad. But they gave you a dedicated home button, dedicated back button, audio button, and apps button. Press that apps button. You can get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on this vehicle. It's not a wireless though. This vehicle comes loaded with Sirius XM as well, being the SEL trim. It is a touchscreen as you guys can see. You have Bluetooth audio, your phone. I'm not sure if there's navigation on here though. No navigation on this vehicle. So that's another thing that the 2019 or 2022 does have rather is embedded 
GPS. And that's it. Nothing special or fancy about this screen right here. Again, there's nothing like Kia's Uvo or, you know, Chrysler's uh, Chrysler system and whatnot, whatever they have in their vehicle. When the vehicle into reverse, you do have a reverse camera and they gave you a top-down view on this SEL 2019 trim. Does not, or does have trajectory. That's something that the 2022 does not have, but again, that's an SE trim. This 2019 is an SEL trim. Put it into drive, you can slap it over to the right and uh, you know shift the vehicle manually with the paddles and whatnot. HVAC controls look very similar to what's in the, uh, in the 2022, except in this 2019, the coloring is white and the 2022, the coloring is red. So be mindful of that. But it, it looks very much the same, pretty much a carryover, just a different color for the display. Same thing up top, uh, hazard controls and your passenger airbag uh, warning and whatnot. They put a lot more piano black plastic in this, in the 2019 trim right here. I believe it's in the 2022 as well. And that's going to collect a lot of dust as well as down here. This vehicle does have two-stage heated and cooled seats just a high and low two USB ports with a 12 volt power outlet right there and your eco mode button is right down here I'm not sure again why they put it down that far but that's the same positioning as the 2022 Eclipse Cross right there they gave you an option to disconnect the uh, super handling or super all-wheel control is what they call their all-wheel drive system but it's a nice interior very similar to the 2022 no sunroof in the SEL so again I don't believe Mitsubishi offers a sunroof at all incandescent lighting for the cabin although it's bright and white but it's not LED looks a little bit brighter than what's in the 2022 same thing for the rear your visor is very is you know hard touch plastics right here, hard touch plastics on the visor, lighting, and the visors do extend again. So that's good. Some grab handles. And that's about it for the front seat of the 2019 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. Very similar to the 2022 SE trim but I would imagine that a 2022 SEL Eclipse Cross will be a lot better than this 2019 in terms of materials and technology and quality. And before we hop into the second row of the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross 2019, let's take a look at here at the door. Same deal of materials on the door. This portion is hard touch plastic, hard touch plastics. This is hard touch plastics right here, hard touch plastics. And this is also hard touch plastics. So basically, the same deal of material on the door in the 2022 that's in this 2019. Just a little different styling elements to it, but it does feel the same, but looks a little different. Hopping inside, it does have a weird sort of stepping height, so you might bump your head on the 2019 model. We're shutting the door here. Same sound, doesn't sound as solid or you know as quality as the 2019 or 2022 model rather. But taking a look here at the interior, as you guys can see, that is what it looks like from the view in the back with those double uh, double glass panels right back there. Same deal of material on the seats. You have two cup holders back here. You have one map pocket, or two map pockets rather, for behind the front driver and passenger seat. And the 2022 SE only has one on the back of the passenger seat. No HVAC controls, but they do give you a 12 volt power supply back there. These headrests are weird. They do eat into your back. So you have to raise them. Mitsubishi always does some sort of weird headrest. Why, I don't know. 
but once you raise those head headrests and out of you know out of way of your back then it does feel pretty good not padded enough but you know they're padded to the point where it's not hard on 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 your head same deal of material on the seats though I'm not sure of the material of the seats but they don't feel pretty good in my opinion No heated or cool seats back here. That's to be expected for this price point in this vehicle. Taking a look here at the cargo area of the 2019, very similar to the 2022. It still gave you this tunnel cover right here, although it is rather shorter than what's in the 2022. It's probably about 15 cubic feet of cargo space, but I'll be sure to put the correct numbers in the video. Nothing too fancy. They don't give you an automatic open or close button you have to manually close it with this grab handle right here so this has been a comparison video of the 2022 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross SE and the 2019 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross SEL they're very similar not too much difference that's why I compared both vehicles together I would have rather had a SEL in both trims but I work with what I had, and as you guys can see, there's not too big of a difference. So I hope you guys like this video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, share your thoughts. And if it were up to you, which vehicle would you purchase? Would you purchase new or would you purchase old? Me personally, I just like the styling of the new 2022, especially from the rear. It looks a lot more mature. So if it were my money, I would lease the 2022. I probably wouldn't buy it. I would lease it just in case I needed a vehicle just to knock around and whatnot compared to the 2019. The 2019, it just looks too bloated for me from the rear. The front is okay. It is toned down compared to the front of the 2022. But from the rear, that whole aspect is something that throws it off for me. And also the nameplate, Eclipse Cross, I'm just not sold on that nameplate just like a whole lot of other people out there. I think they could have chose a different name. If they're gonna bring back the Eclipse, they need to bring it back to what it was. And that's a coupe, two door. Mitsubishi is planning on revamping their whole lineup and whatnot, or at least updating it to a certain extent. And I can't wait to see what they have in store. Will it make me go back to Mitsubishi? Probably not. But will it make me appreciate them much more? I say yes. Being said, guys, if you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. This is my first comparison view, uh, video, so I hope you guys liked it. If there are any other comparisons that you guys want to see, if you guys want me to do, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll be sure to bring you guys more content when I get the chance. But until then, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.